Hey, Tara, how are you doing today? I'm good, Mr. Nelson. Good, good. So today, Tara's going to help me out showing you guys about modifying a graph of sine or cosine. So right here, I've already set up one, and if you notice on my screen, I'm going from negative 2 pi to positive 2 pi, which we learned last time would mean I would see two complete periods. So let's go ahead and take a look, and here we see one complete period, two complete periods. Now what I want to look at is modifying graphs, and I want to see if you can predict before I show it what's going to happen. So first I'm going to mess around with sliding graphs up and down a little bit. So I'm going to adjust my window. We're going to go a little lower, down to negative 5, and a little higher up to positive 5. So that kind of makes my picture look squished, but that's just because we're going higher and lower now. And I want you to imagine that I were to type in y equals sine x and then I put a plus 3 at the end. Now thinking back to what you know from Algebra 2, what do you think putting a plus 3 there is going to do to this picture? I think it's going to move it up 3 units. Okay, let's see if you're right. Now let's see, here I was at the origin, here I'm 1, 2, 3 up. Folks, 1, 2, 3, up, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. I think she knows what's going on there. Now, let me turn this off for a minute. And let me ask you, what if I change that to a minus? What if I had sine x minus 3? Then what? I think it'll just go down 3 units. Let's see if you're right. Hey, do you know what's going on or what? Yeah. Yeah, you do. <laughs> All right. Now, let's go back. And this time, I'm going to change how I write things a little bit. You'll notice on those last two, I didn't use any parentheses. This time, I'm going to write sine of x minus pi over 3. Over 3. Type that wrong. Let me fix that. Pi over 3. What in the world is going on here? Pi divide. There we go. There we go. I forgot how to type for a minute there. Okay. Now, thinking back to Algebra 2, what happens to a graph if instead of sticking plus or minus at the end, I stick it directly onto the x. Instead of moving up and down, it'll move right or left. Absolutely. Now, do you remember from Algebra 2, if it's a negative here, if it's a minus, what direction is it going to shift? Towards the positive side, which would be to the left. Is it right? So do you, that's right. okay. Right. To the right. To the right. Okay, so yeah. you're predicting that this picture is going to be shifted to the right. Yes. Okay, let's find out if you're correct. Well, here we are in orange. Was there a shift to the right? Yes. And how much of a shift to the right did we have? Pi over 3. Pi over 3. Okay, now we've done a few with sine. Let's visit our friend cosine. So I'm going to change sine of x to cosine of x. And so here's our dear friend cosine x. Again, we see two complete periods. From the top to the middle to the bottom to the middle to the top, that's one period. To the middle to the bottom to the middle to the top, that's a second period. Two complete periods here. And this time, I want to try cosine of x plus pi over 4. And there we are. Notice this time, because I used a plus, instead it went to the left. So when we had a minus here, we saw a shift to the right. When we have a plus here, we see a shift to the left. Now, what if I were sneaky and I hit you with a combination? You think you can take on a combination? Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. We're going to do cosine of x plus pi over 6 minus 2. So put all that together for me and tell me, what am I going to do to this blue picture to make the new picture? To make a new picture, it's going to shift to the left, pi over 6, and then go down 2. Now, how do you know it's to the left, pi over 6? Because it's positive, and remembering what we did in Algebra 1 and Algebra 2, it's x minus h or k, whichever variable that you're using. And so a minus and a minus make a positive, and then it will go to the left. Okay, and you said it was also going to shift down by 2. How do you know it's down, not up? Because this time it's outside of the parentheses and this is minus two. Okay, folks, you heard her. She says this is going to shift to the left pi over six and down by two. Let's see if she knows what's going on. Well, 
here was our peak, and now our peak is over here. Is that a shift to the left? Sure is. And here our graph used to go from negative 1 to 1, and now it goes from negative 3 to negative 1. So it sure has been shifted down. I would say you know what's going on when it comes to this. Okay, folks. Now, a little bit of vocabulary. When we shift left, right, we call that a phase shift, P-H-A-S-E. And when we shift up, down, we call that a vertical shift. So that's your vocabulary to go with this activity. Next video, we're going to look at stretching or squishing graphs and making them taller or shorter.